hello, hello, welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. The depth of field effect. That's warm, fuzzy background effect that is much beloved of people that make period TV dramas, because it means they can blur out awkward, non-period effects behind the actors, such as TV aerials, modern plastic doors, that sort of thing. It's a much-loved feature of high-end cameras. And why wouldn't it be? I mean, just look at the wonderful bokeh effect it's producing on the lights behind me. Except that that is not a high-end camera. And this isn't real depth of field. It's an illusion. It's an effect I created in the edit. It's an effect you can create as well. And this is how. First, import the clip you want to use into Vegas Pro. The ideal shot is one with a relatively static foreground. Talking heads are ideal. Now we won't need the audio for this demo, so I'll just click here to ungroup it, right click and delete it. And I'll just turn the grouping back on again in case I forget to do it later. So the first thing we need to do is to make a copy of the clip. So right click on it, choose copy, then click on the video track above, right click and choose paste. And make sure they are perfectly lined up together as they need to be in synchronization. Now to add the out of focus effect. So click on the FX tab on the top clip and select the defocus effect. As you can see, the default amount of defocus is quite strong. A bit too strong for my needs. So I'll just reduce it until the lights behind produce some nice bokeh effects. There, that looks about right. Now we need to cut a mask through to the focused layer below. So click on the Event Pan Crop button here. And making sure the cursor is at the beginning of the track, enable the Mask tool by clicking here. Now we click on the Anchor Creation tool. And create a mask by clicking around your foreground subject. Leave a little space between your subject and the mask to allow for slight movements and feathering later on. And don't forget to finalise the mask by clicking on the first point again. There, done. Now as we can see here, the mask is the wrong way round. The foreground is blurred and the background isn't. So to fix that, come to the Mode button here and click it from positive to negative. There, that looks better. Now for the final touch, we need to feather the mask so that the transition from the focused foreground to the unfocused background is subtle and not obvious. So, click on Feather Type and choose Both. Then give it a fair amount of feathering, say 10% or so. And that's it, the effect is done. Render to video, and this is what you get. The depth of field effect. That's warm, fuzzy background effect that is much beloved of people that make period TV dramas, because it means they can blur out awkward, non-period effects behind the actors. So there you go, fake depth of field for any camera. Hope it was useful to you. Well, that's all from me for this episode. Don't forget to comment, like and share, and I'll see you here next time on The Media Channel. Channel.